what's up guys so today in this video i'm going to be teaching you the basics of b tools like i know my way around b tools i'm not the best builder in the entire world but i'm okay and so i could never figure out how to use textures and decals and stuff and that's what i'm going to be doing in this video just uh everything to do just everything just so you know how to use b tools in the future so let's get started so as you know you, you know how to build a wall all right, now let's say you wanna make it invisible or you wanna add, a t add a texture to it. Then you would go over to this, see where my cursor is, you press that. Then over here, there's transparency. That's how you make something invisible. If you click away, you'll see that um, uh, it's now invisible, but if you click away, it will be completely invisible to your eye. I'm gonna change it back, just press zero and then it's visible again. And reflectance is actually kinda cool. Just pick a random big number, like 9,000, and then you can see that little thing right there. I thought that was kind of cool. So there's that. And now to add a texture, as you could probably figure, it's at this very top part. There's all these. You just find the one you want, like we want wood planks, foil, cobblestone, grass, granite just a bunch of different stuff and the basic one is smooth plastic just the default one smooth plastic and um so that's how you do textures and now let's say you want to add lighting now if you first add surface light change the color you might notice oh but i want this specific part to be bright then click the specific part and it'll be make it brighter just anywhere you want it just like that and then you want to get rid of it just click remove right there and then my other favorite part most other games that have B tools they have an explorer tool right where my cursor is pointing at in this game they don't but there's a way to get it so I'm gonna do that real fast so uh, if you play this game specifically you won't be able to do this because as you can see I have owner admin and only I can do that unless your owner as well so now that we have these new B tools we should now have explorer and so as you can see if you try and select this island that I made or that island over there can't really select anything other than that so in them um, let's say um, you want to lock one of the items you have alright so we got this block right here and you don't want anyone to edit it because it, it's your favorite block in the world. <laughs> then you want to go over to the very bottom. <laughs> you want to find the part that's highlighted. Go over to the side. And then click that lock button. Click away. You can't select it, as you can see. Let's see if I can delete it now. <laughs> yeah, you just unlock it. You have to find it. That's the difficult part. Good thing is with this, it, they had name everything. So if I want to unlock the treehouse, find treehouse. And bam, now I can select it and then delete it okay and so did that you want to turn it off just press that okay so now that we did that let's say you want to add a decal to a block so we got this front facing part right here currently I don't have any decals but you'll it'll show you so you want to click add decal you want to search you can search up on YouTube or some place called Roblox Library. I don't know how to get there, to be honest. Oh, uh, the transparency here doesn't work, I don't think. I've tried it before. But you want to go to Image ID. Alright, and you click it, you search off YouTube what an Image ID, you type it in. And then when you type it in, um, you just kind of press Enter. And then it'll pop up on this. And so there's that. And then here's my favorite part. So as you know, blocks, they're kind of hard to move around sometimes. Like, let's say you want to get something precise, like a wall. You want to get a wall precisely on the corner. So, to move it a little um, less jumpy, you want to go over where my cursor is, go to increment, type in an increment. I recommend 0 0.001, just the lowest increment I can think of. Press enter, and as you can see, it's now less jumpy. It doesn't go from here to here. It's just kind of like, really, really small little movements. And you can do, say, do the same thing with the resize tool. Like, see, it's really jumpy. 
change the increment to 0 0.001, it's now a lot smoother, a lot more smooth, as you can see. And then if you die, you're going to have to reset it, because like if I reset, it'll go back to 1, and we don't want that. So basically, that's, I mean, pretty much it, and uh, the other stuff you can find, pretty basic stuff. Um, I guess I could add... There's actually something else I want to show, because it, it's actually kind of cool. So, Alright, so let's say you want to attach something to your body. Okay, this is actually quite simple. Now in this game, you're going to have to use the unlock command, which anyone can do. And you basically just kind of go up to it. You have to make sure you can actually select yourself. Just like that. And what you want to do, select yourself... This is how you select multiple items, by the way. You want to select yourself. You want to anchor. Anchor yourself to the block. Okay, like this. You want to go over to this this thing over here. Weld to last. Create 18 welds. Go back to the anchor tool. Unanchor yourself. And then bam, bam, you can move. It's a little weird because like you anchored yourself and merge yourself, so you won't you won't have the walking animation anymore. But to basic stuff, that's pretty much how you do it. Let's just reset a little bit. Ah, oh, looks like she joined. Okay. Um. So yeah, you do that. And yeah, there's the block from earlier. Yeah, I say I'd say that's pretty much it. Um. Oh, one, one, one last thing. You can also find mesh IDs from somewhere. So go over to where my cursor is. Click add mesh. Same thing. Well, hang on. Yeah, I can't remember how to do meshes, but I'm sure those are pretty easy to find, unlike all the other stuff to do. But yeah, by the way, the person that joined, um, she's the one that taught me all this. I would tell you to check out her channel but i i can't begin to remember what her channel is called because she put a bunch of weird symbols on it <laughs> but yeah um yeah so um just i hope this was helpful um please like and subscribe very much appreciated comment if you like up to you and i don't care if you get notified <laughs> just um i hope this helped um have a nice day